radix sort internally uses counting sort radix sort sorts based on the digits of the of your whatever number system you use okay so let's say we are we talk about the decimal number system so there we have the digits from 0 to 9 and let's say i'm saying uh, sort 243 and 142 so this will first match this first digit sorted based on first digit then the second digit and then the third digit okay so sorting based on digit now let's take an example and i will show you one one loop and you will have to repeat it for all the digits so let's say you are taking 170 45 75 90 802 24 2 66 even though i have written in this way whatever is the maximum number have will have the maximum number of digits and those many times i will have to repeat it even though there is two it has to be repeated three times because the largest number is 802 and using that i can actually find how many digits are there by using log of base 10 on the max number because this is the this is the base of the number system this is the base of the number system if it is a 26 base number system take base uh, as 26 so let's take base 10 number system so this is given now i will assume that all of them are three digits numbers just to uh, just to make it more readable right now the first thing is i will sort it based on the first digit i will sort it based on the first digit so if i'm using decimal number system and if i'm sorting based on the first digit then what will be the range of numbers zero to nine zero to nine zero to nine so use counting sort to get it sorted that's it so what was step one of counting sort create a, a range of uh, like array range from zero to nine okay what will be the name of this frequency array yeah so let's go from left to right and see so you find that this is zero so all of these will be zero initially so this is zero increment its frequency this is five increment its frequency this is five increment its frequency zero two four two and then you have six right okay clear till this point what was step two cumulative frequency and the cumulative frequency yeah so it is the same it is the same array i'm, I'm just reusing it so find the cumulative frequency so this will be two two added with zero will be two two added with two will be four four with zero four five seven eight 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 right what was step three sorted array i can just overwrite on this but let's say i have a sorted array so how many of them i should take zero one two three four five six seven So you see, this is one use case where you cannot just go and print it, right? Since the values are different and the use case is totally different. Now, what did I say? You have to make it a stable sort. So radix sort, since it is using counting sort, it will also be a stable sort because I am making the counting sort stable, right? So the radix sort will also be stable by default. Now I will flow from right to left. So let's take this one. What is the frequency of six? Eight. So eight minus one is this one. So I'll place zero six six here and make it seven. Zero zero two. What will be zero zero two? This is the one, right? Zero zero two. Four means it should be placed at three. So zero zero two will be here, and this will be three. Zero two four. So this is saying position five. Zero two four. So position five means four. Zero two four here and make it four. 802 you go to again to 802 make it 2 090 position 2 miss miss 1 
so 0, 9, 0 here, make it 1. 0, 7, 5, 7 means 6. 0, 7, 5, make this 6. 0, 4, 5, go to 5, this is 6, that means here, 0, 4, 5. So this has to come as 5. 1, 7, 0. So this is 1, that means position 0. 1, 7, 0, make it 0. And I think we are done. So we have sorted based on the first index. Now we have to take this as input in the next in the next cycle. This will become the input and apply another cycle sort. I mean, uh, counting sort. And then again, give that as input and again, apply one another counting sort. So this will be repeated the digit number of times, the digits in the max number, and you will get your array sorted. So just for your reference, I'm giving what will be the answer for this, which I have already calculated. Okay, so then, so in the next step, you should get 802, 2, 24, 45, 66, 170, 75, and 90. And then you will have another step because this is a three digit number. So you will get 2, 24, 45, 66, 75, 90. 170802. Okay. So it has no other logic but to but just apply the logic and implementation of counting sort. Right. So let's now discuss about when they should be used. So you must have understood that the number of digits in the max number multiply it by the time complexity of the counting sort right simple simple use case so let's say b is the base of the number system it can be anything it it, it may not be based in all the time let's say b is the base of the number system now these let's say the number of digits and you already know that it will be if the number is n like n is the let's say the number of elements so if n is the number of elements, in this case, d will be equals to log n base b, log n base b, right? Which is the number of digits. Okay, fine. <clears throat> so you know that the time complexity should be order of number of digits multiplied by whatever is the counting, counting sort time. And that will be the range. Range is what? The base of the number system. 0 to b minus 1. For base 10, it will be 0 to 9, right? So uh, b plus whatever are the number of elements. You know that, right? So this will be the time complexity. Assuming all these you have assumed, right? You can explain in this way. But then uh, what is that special case under which uh, you will say that it is most optimal? or it can beat all the other sorting algorithms. What is that case? I mean, it is only yeah. only that is the reason when we actually uh, use this kind of algorithm, right? If an algorithm is invented and there is no use case, then it doesn't make sense. So let's derive it. Okay. Yeah. So let's derive it out. So let's say D is equals to, uh, you already know log of your max number. So let's say the max number i should not have written n here but actually the max number because the max number will define how many digits you have to the base b right okay so if you convert it in this way then it will be order of b plus n multiplied by log of max number to the base b right okay so let's assume that let max number is equals to k. So you can replace this with a value k. Right. So let's say that b is some power of k or let's say k is, k is some power of b. So let's say that k can be written in terms of k less than equals to n to the power c k can be written in terms of less than equals to n to the power c where c is a constant and b is almost equals to n 
when does this happen it happens for a very large base so if the base of the number system matches the number of items something like that like if if let's say the base is 10 to the power 4 and you have uh, the number of items something like 10 to the power 5 or 6 almost equals to your base right base is equals to almost uh, very close to your uh, number of elements so for very high base this why high base if the base is high the number of digits will be less a large number a large decimal number can be represented in less number of uh, digits if you use base 100 system as compared to base 2 which is binary right so larger the base the less will be the number of digits and the less the number of digits the less number of times you run the counting sort and uh, so it is more optimal right Yeah. For, for high base. So if you can write it in this way, then log base B can be written as N and uh, K can be written as N to the power C, where C is a constant and this comes to the left side and this will be equivalent to C, which is a constant. And so this will be equals to B plus N will be equivalent to 2N, right? And that will be multiplied by C. So it will be equals to order of 2 c n now 2 c is also a constant so you can count it as order of n under this special scenario so you can also uh, like you don't have to write all these things but you can just make that kind of a sense that uh, since it is the counting sort is repeating digit number of times i want less number of digit that only happens for higher base simple logic right so you don't have to explain any maths for that okay so I think this is enough. I would like to announce about our DSA live training program, which will guarantee understanding of every programming concept. It makes you interview ready in just three months and it will maximize your offers so that you get the best possible pay and in the best possible company you can. All the sessions will be live interactive sessions. So you will get the feel of a live class and you can ask all your doubts throughout the class. In order to get more details, please WhatsApp us on this given number.